Hello everyone, I'm Manny and in this video we are going to make a Cats in the Pocket t-shirt. It is great for all you crazy cat ladies and gentlemen out there. It has a nice decorative pattern on the pocket as well as the sleeves and the main attraction of this t-shirt has to be the a little bit grumpy looking cats just peeping out the pocket. This project is quite easy to make, it doesn't require too much sewing and you can probably complete it within a few hours. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Graphic Stock for sponsoring this video and I would not have came up with this idea if I had not came across their images on the website. Graphic Stock is a subscription-based resource which provides unlimited downloads of royalty-free stock images. This means all the pictures are of high quality, non-copyrighted unlike some of the images on Google, and you lawfully have the rights to use the pictures on Graphic Stock to your heart's content. They're also kind enough to host a giveaway, so keep watching until the end. To begin, we will need a printer and also a plain white men's t-shirt that has to be a bit oversized on you. We will need some iron-on transfer paper. I got mine from eBay and the brand is called Phoenix. It's actually pretty good, it was just under £4 for a packet of 5 sheets. I've used some really really cheap ones in the past which were like £2 for a packet of 10. They require you to mirror your images and they were no good at all because the images would just crack and peel off when I put them in the wash. So opt for the higher quality ones. Now we need to search for our images. I decided to have a cat in my pocket but you can choose any other animals such as puppies and sloths and anteaters, just whatever you fancy really. So I've chosen this cat image which looks like the perfect fit to be peeping out of a pocket. Go ahead and sign up for a 7 day free trial account then you can proceed to download the image. We will also need a pattern for the sleeve and the pocket. You'll find plenty under floral patterns and paisley patterns. Open the cat's image onto a word document. Resize it to half the width of the page. You might also want to set the margins to narrow. Fill the rest of the page with your chosen pattern. I decided to resize the pattern so the patterns are smaller. Fill up another A4 page with the same pattern. I would advise you to do your test print on copy paper first and once you're happy with everything, print your pages out onto the plain side of the transfer paper. Leave it to dry for about 10 minutes. Now you need to cut out the cat as closely as you can. Also, cut out the pattern from the same sheet of paper. Moving on to the full pattern sheet, cut out 4 pieces of 1 and 3 quarter inch strips lengthwise. So now you have these pieces cut out. Put your t-shirt on normally, so right side out, place a finger on where you want the top to end, fold the bottom up to your new desired length and pin it, do it to the other side too. Lay it out flat and measure from the fold to the original bottom hem, making sure it's the same length all the way around and pin it as you go. Now go ahead and sew on top of the right seam with a straight stitch. This saves you from having to redo a proper hem on this t-shirt because it would be difficult to do so on jersey fabric. Trim off the excess fabric and press your new hem with an iron. Take the excess fabric we just trimmed off from the t-shirt and iron it flat. Peel off the backing sheets from the pattern, place it on top of the fabric and cover it with the overlay paper, which is also similar to baking paper, then iron with a non-stop motion. I accidentally touched the pattern directly with the iron and it melted a little, so be really careful. From that piece of fabric, cut out a pocket shape with these measurements. Fold the top down by 3 quarters of an inch, sandwich it between the overlay paper and sew a straight stitch across with a contrasting thread. Also, fold all the sides in by a quarter of an inch and iron them down like so. Now you need to decide where to place the cat in the pocket. Once you've decided, pin the top and the bottom of the pocket onto the t-shirt. Take it off, pin the two sides and remove the top pin. Place the cat under the pocket, fold the pockets back then you can safely iron the cat onto the t-shirt.
place the blanket back onto the cat and sew around the four sides with a straight stitch. Turn your t-shirt inside out, insert a cardboard into the sleeve and iron it flat. Peel the backing paper off the strip and place it onto the sleeve with the edge just overlapping the underarm seams as well as the seams on the side. Iron over it with the overlay paper and continue overlapping the side seams with the pattern. When the strip runs out, simply attach another strip right beside where it ended and carry on ironing. When you get near the end, iron carefully and trim off the excess and just give it a final press. Repeat with the other sleeve. To finish off, fold the sleeve up twice and secure with hairpins. This way there won't be any holes made on the pattern which you could have done with normal pins. I nearly turned my whole room upside down searching for these, they just disappear like crazy! Now take off your free arm attachment from your sewing machine and just sew on top of the fold with a straight stitch. And you're done! I threw it in the washing machine to test it out and the transfer paper lasted really well. Yay, thank you very much for watching until the end and in this giveaway you can win a 6 month subscription of graphic stock. All you have to do is click on the link in the description box, sign up for the 7 day free trial and comment below with the link of the image that you would like to be printed on a tote bag. The winner will be announced on my Instagram at MightyManny and if you're the lucky winner I will also personally throw in a tote bag like this made by yours truly with the printed image of your choice on the front. Suppose it's a thank you gift for supporting me. Bye! Which provides unlimited... Unlimited... Uh,